Here's the Elliott Wave forecast from March 11, 2013. There's a pre-market forecast. On the S&P 31 minute chart, we, uh, we have basically uh, one, two, into a three, but this is not just a three, but a three into a grind. And as you see, as you can see by the slope and the angle of the uh, of the move in the past uh, several days, it's got the grinding three look. And when you have the grinding three look, uh, the essentially a third wave wouldn't stop at 1.618. Actually, it would actually surpass 1.618 and, and go much further than um, what we're probably going to be seeing. But uh, 1.618 would be about 1565 from here, which is about nine points to the upside. But when you try grinding a three. Uh, potentially, this this could move could be like either 2.6 and 8, which would be target around 16.20 or higher. So um, this is one, two, and grinding three. Highest target would be about 16.20. Minimum target would be about 15.65. For the Dow, same thing. One, two, grinding three. This is a beautiful grinding three. Look at that angle. Oh my God. <laughs> one, two, grinding three. Um, my target was 14,500 for 1.6 and 8, but if this is a grinding through that goes to 2.6 and 8, the highest target would be about 14,800 or 15,000, even much higher than where we are right now. But uh, conservatively, it would be about 14,500 or, or a little bit above that would be 1.6 and 8. For NASDAQ, 1, 2, grinding 3. And um, 3 would be about, th about 3,300 in NASDAQ. 1.6 and 8 would be about 3,270. So there's still a little bit more upside to go, but um, in terms of um, the chart in the past several days, the grinding three, you cannot ignore. <laughs> it's really amazing. That's a wrap.